true story. Behind Back to Black's depiction of Amy and Blake. When Sam Taylor Johnson signed on to direct Back to Black, she had one main objective. I wanted people to come out and feel like they got a new insight, she says from her home in Somerset, England. It's a task that's not as simple as it might sound, when you consider the significance of Amy Winehouse's musical legacy, and for better or worse, her tragic demise in pop culture history. After the success of her 2006 album Back to Black, and during the years leading up to her death from alcohol poisoning in 2011 at the tender, albeit culturally significant, age of 27, Winehouse was cast as the lead character in a story she seemingly had little control over. Her personal life, including her battles with addiction and bulimia, became tabloid fodder, played out in a series of increasingly invasive paparazzi pictures. Winehouse's tumultuous relationships, or rather one key relationship, took center stage. Enter Blake Fielder Civil. Winehouse and Fielder Civil met in a pub in the singer's beloved area of Camden, North London.